Abortion is back at the Supreme Court for the first time in a generation. What's at stake? Three quarters of the abortion clinics in Texas may close. The last clinic in Mississippi might close. And three out of four clinics in Louisiana might close. At issue in Whole Woman's Health versus Hellerstadt, the case the Supreme Court is currently considering, is whether Texas's restrictions on abortion pose an undue burden on women who are seeking the procedure. The two provisions at issue include a requirement that all doctors who perform abortions have admitting privileges at local hospitals, and that all abortions take place at ambulatory surgical centers, which are sort of mini hospitals. Because all but 10 clinics in the state of Texas were 5.4 million women of reproductive age live have been unable to comply with this law. They say that it poses an unconstitutional burden on women and their right to exercise their right to have an abortion. These laws are not designed to promote women's health. They won't promote women's health. They're going to make abortion less safe for women. So we are optimistic that the court will strike them down and ensure that women continue to have access to safe and legal abortion in Texas and throughout the country. We thought that arguments went well. You know, Justice Breyer said from the podium that he absolutely acknowledged that the Texas legislature here, its purpose was to improve patient safety. And that's what these laws have always been about. Those are the arguments that we presented today. And a decision is expected in June. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.